watch a German film showing their automatic weapons in action. These are the weapons we're up against in the European and Mediterranean theaters of operation. But we've captured not only the film, but the actual weapons and ammunition. Just what are they like? How fast and how accurately do they fire compared to our weapons? And most important to you, how do they sound? Well, here's their 34. Now they're 42. And here's their Schmeiser. The next time you hear that may be your first time in combat. A new replacement in a battle-wise line outfit. You're in this man's shoes. You're ready, but you've never faced enemy fire. Listen to that. Fast. That thing sprays a lot of lead. And you're scared because the German gun fires faster than anything you've run into before. So much faster than the slow, steady bark of American machine guns you heard all through training. And you can't see them either. In combat, they aren't sitting out in the open. So keep an eye on your squad leader. He's a veteran. He's tangled with these weapons before, and he's going after this one, sending men around the flank. Now he's establishing his base of fire. Nobody seems especially afraid of that gun. Nobody but the replacement who can't get over the fast burp of that German gun. Well, so it does have a high rate of fire. Does that mean it's a better fighting weapon than ours? Here's where we get the answer. These gunners are all expert and have been hand-picked to give us a fair test. The submachine guns will fire first. 20 rounds each at 75 yards. At 75 yards. Load. The German 9mm machine pistol called the Schmeiser against our Thompson caliber 45. Their rate of fire is practically the same, but our weapon is more accurate. And our new submachine pistol caliber 45 M3. The man firing. see the payoff. Here's the German Schmeiser. Pretty good. Out of the 20 rounds fired, it snagged 11 hits. Now let's total up our own Tommy gun. Things are looking up. 15 hits, only five misses. And what about our new M3? Better yet, the gun didn't climb as much on the longer bursts. 17 hits out of 20 rounds. Accuracy. Your slugs go where you aim them. The German gunner pays for his impressive rate of fire. But you get maximum accuracy with a rate of fire that isn't just noise. Here is the backbone of the infantry's firepower. Machine guns. 
When your target is out there 300 yards away, accuracy really counts. In this test, each weapon will fire 30 rounds. First, the American Light 30 on the bipod. Next, the American Heavy 30 on the tripod. the German 34 on the bipod. And last, the German 42 on the tripod. Geez. Firing. There's a lot of lead down there. Let's go see how much of it hit the target. First, the German 34. 13 hits. For the American Light 30, 22 hits. The German gun is good, but ours is better. And even with the heavy machine guns on tripod mounts, the results are the same. 16 hits for the German 42. And for our heavy 30, 24 hits. Only six misses. Accuracy. Again, yours always go where you aim them. And another thing about that high rate of fire. It eats up ammunition. Almost three times as fast as our own machine guns. And who lugs all that ammunition? Here's the answer. Here's an American heavy machine gun platoon. 35 men. Four machine guns. Here they are in simple diagram form. 35 men, four machine guns. The German heavy machine gun platoon has the identical setup. 35 men and four guns. But an additional eight men are required to lug all that ammunition. For these eight men, we can substitute another machine gun squad with another gun which will deliver its bullets where we want them to go. That's the choice we've made. More guns, which shoot slower, but more accurately. When you know the drawbacks of these enemy weapons and realize that their bark is worse than their bite, you aren't afraid of some unknown thing. Now the Nazis have their hands full, and our men can move in on their flank. The German gun shoots fast. The German gun used to shoot fast. Now the squad can move again. That's the way an enemy machine gun position should look. Their automatic weapons may fire fast, but if you know your stuff, you can stop them cold. Remember, their bark is worse than their bite.